Welcome back to our research writing emphasis on APA MLA guidelines. Today we're going to be doing unit 6 and we're going to be looking specifically at statistics and mathematics numbers and formulas and how you put them, represent them inside your manuscript. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you have three or fewer numbers, that is just a few numbers, then try to put it into a sentence. Do not put them into a table. If you have more than three, that would be four to 20 numbers, then in that case, four to 20 numbers, you want to probably use a table. That could be a simple table or a little bit complicated table, which we'll talk about in the next unit, that is unit seven. More than 20 numbers, then probably you're going to want to use a picture, a graphic. Now that graphic could be something very simple, such as a graphic like a pie chart or a bar chart or a line chart. But in any case, use a graphic. Those graphics could become very complicated with lots of lines and figures which business researchers love to use and engineers and even medicine uh, areas, medical areas, like to use photographs and x-ray images and things like that, microscopy and things in that area. So all that's possible and certainly better than having a bunch of crazy numbers which is overwhelming the people to readers. So what about statistics? Well, when you're writing your statistics, you do not need to reference statistics that are in common use. That is to say that if the statistic is a statistic everybody knows, please do not write a reference to say who made this statistic or where is it from or what research used this and I need to reference that. No, you don't need to do that. Just use the t statistic. And we're talking about things like ANOVA and t-test, things like this, regression. You don't need to say where they came from. Now, if the reference, if the statistic is more special, you would have to use a reference. And in that case, it's less common statistics, statistics that are used in a special or different way or innovative way, and statistic itself that is the subject of the article. So in this case, that means that if the article you're writing is about statistics or a statistical test or a statistical method, or even something like a meta-analysis where you're actually manipulating the data in a way through a statistical formula, then you probably need to reference who did you get that from, where did it come from. What about when we're using formulas? How do we look at formulas? How do we use formulas inside our manuscript? Well, the best idea is simply do not include formulas, especially when they're in common use. You can include a formula when it's something rare, unusual, or a key part of the research. So in a way, it's just like the statistics. If it's something very unusual or it's your main topic, then you include it. Now, of course, in business, you won't really see a lot of formulas, but if you're using something in a special way, you will. In engineering, you'll see a lot of formulas. Even commonly used formulas sometimes show up just to let you know how it's being calculated if that common use has different ways to be used or different potential or little modifications then you need to show how did you do the calculation. But in general, especially for business, you kind of skip over that. You don't need it unless it's a special case. In other areas, check the journal, see what other people do. Statistics inside your text. Include information to help readers understand the analysis. And that would include information like t-test, f-test, chi-squared test, effect sizes, and confidence intervals. And here the main point is, if I read your manuscript, if I read your paper, if I read your thesis, can I really understand how you took the data and came to this answer? How did you get this number? How did you arrive at this number? And that's why you would specify very clearly, did I use a t-test, did I use an f-test, did I use a regression, how did I come to this ending number? You don't need to explain all the details, just what did you do? What were the basics? Statistics in a table or figure do not need to be repeated in the text. And this is an interesting idea that's very hard to remember. And that is that if you have a table, you do not need to repeat everything that's in your table. Having a table or having a figure is a way to not write it in the text because it's too complicated, it's too much. So in this way, you just want to save time, save page length. That's very important when you're writing your research is to keep it as short as possible. And one way to do that is 
uh, don't go overboard in putting all that explanation and certainly don't double. Don't have a table and then explain the whole table. Means followed by standard deviations in parentheses is kind of the standard approach. So for example here we can see that we would have something along the lines of here's the mean uh, 2.43 and then here is the standard deviation, the SD. Or here's another mean, 2.59, and here is the standard deviation, 1.21, etc. So you can see that's exactly the way it works. And why is that important? Because that helps us to see how did you get the calculation. And in fact, for basic numbers, we could double check the calculations and see if they're correct or if there's an issue or, or if something is important. Confidence intervals also, you can use a format like this. So for example, if your confidence interval is 95%, then you write the CI, which means confidence interval. And then you use the bracket, left bracket, right bracket. And then you include the lower level and the upper level. That is the low number and the high number for the confidence intervals. Now, this depends on your area, right? In, in business, we don't often have confidence intervals, although maybe you should. We often skip over them, maybe we should include them. And depending on your field, you may be required to include them. So it all depends. Let's take a look at some examples here. 95% confidence interval, 5.62, 8.39. 5.62 is the low, 8.31 is the high.